form, it, it looks like it's becoming a little bit more linear. It's still though, it's still a supercell. It's still rotating. So it's I, this thing is so powerful, guys. It's so powerful. And the thing that's that's difficult about it is it is wrapped in rain. Yeah, no, you're right there, Michael. Uh, it is wrapped in rain. And just so everyone knows, Oklahoma City Public Schools have canceled all after school activities for the threat of severe weather that is rolling in right now. It is currently 401 on this Friday afternoon. If you're just now getting home, the lead story that we have right now is this tornado that has done damage out across southern or northern parts of Comanche County. Tornado warning continues as we now go into Grady County south of Chickasha. We're still seeing that rotation moving into Ninica at about six minutes from now. That is the newest update with this storm, you can see the tornado warning right here. And as Jonathan draws out a storm track from where the greatest shear is located, update now to, brings it into Ninicot about 418, Alec at 434, Bradley 441, Lindsay 452, and Dibble at 452 as well. So now we're getting just south of Blanchard and southern parts of the uh, extreme oak or extreme south southern parts of the Oklahoma City Metro. So right now, the only tornado warning that we have in the state right now is this storm. Now, Oklahoma City, we will see storms that will move in uh, during the afternoon drive. But as of right now, the strongest storms and the uh, most significant storm is currently located just south of Chickasha. We do have our crews out and you can see here this coming in from Michael Armstrong. You see that green sky when you see that green sky. You know, there's a certainly a good amount of hailstones that are going to be embedded within that. This storm and this area has produced golf ball size hail up to almost grapefruit size hail. So we're still getting a good amount of uh, hailstones that are falling out of this and we still see right now the largest hail core there uh, two inches and higher just east of Surreal, south of cement with the greatest rotation now just east of Surreal and northwest of Rush Springs. Once again, moving to the east shows it making its way outside of this warning, but moves into Bradley Lindsay Dibble within the next 40 minutes. So if you know anyone that is moving into this part of the state, uh, dropping down in this part of the state uh, from Oklahoma City, then you need to be uh, you need to be on the lookout. Field meteorologist Michael Armstrong, what do you have? Oh, Damon, strong winds right now coming in with the backside of this storm. This thing uh, has got some got some pretty pretty strong wind with it right now, and the rain is coming in horizontally. If you can take a look, I'm going to put it on our on our uh, dash cam here. We're actually headed east, and you. You'll be able to see it here. Let me put the camera down. It's, it's crazy out here, Damon. This thing, you do not want to mess with this storm. Uh, so we have we have winds. I mean, well, we're driving 55 east, and the rain is catching us from behind. So I, I, can't, I can't stress enough that whether there's a tornado or not, uh, there will be damaging winds at the surface with this storm. It is a massive supercell. Do not mess with it. Do not go outside to look at it. If you live in this area west of Agawam, northwest of Rush Springs, take your tornado precautions and doing do it immediately. This is going to be moving up toward Alec and uh, should pass just south of Ninica, uh, but it'll be really, co really close to Agawam based on the current projection from what I can see here in Storm Command. And it, uh, it does look like uh, the most intense area of circulation is now about a mile and a half east of Agawam based on my perspective. So I'm going to switch it back to our roof cam now. You can see the, the area that's most dangerous is there. If you can pan to the camera to the right a little bit, Tim, um, you can see that, that low hanging area right there, back to the left just a little. Uh, that, that feature right in there is what we need to stay focused on. That's the inflow wrapping back up in the storm and where the rear flank downdraft meets. So that's where everything is circulating back into the storm. The problem is there's so much rain. Again, you cannot see back up in there, so you can't see the tornado. Um, it, it is. It, I just can't even tell you how dangerous this is. It's crazy. Yeah, no, Michael, you're exactly right. And we're trying to hit the message as hard as possible about how dangerous of a storm that this is. Even though you cannot see the tornado, it is in there. And Jonathan, as you were just mentioning, it is ramping up. And when I when I see first alert yeah. Doppler 3D, 
I mean, goodness. The Look velocities are coming up. It, the storm is cycling, and here's here's a problem. Like Michael Armstrong said, you're not going to be able to see this. This is a HP supercell, but it's still a supercell in the line. You look at that, and you're like, well, Jonathan, it's really lined out. Trust me, there is very strong rotation in there. You can actually still see the hook echo. That's it right there. There's the hook. It's drawing in right in there. That's all the inflow to the storm. That's, again, what we're looking at the precipitation with what we'll call uh, uh, reflectivity. I'm going to switch over to velocity and there's there's the area rotation. I'm going to back the timeline up here a little bit. Look at right there. I'm looking at the time here. That is at four o'clock. Mm -hmm. Watch the update right now to 406. Four o'clock. Everyone's watching this like, okay, I, I see that area. You know, there's, you know, the uh, the inbounds are going this way. The outbounds are going that way. And boy, it's the, the overall, you know, width of the mesocyclone. It's not real gate to gate. Watch what happens when we bring it to the latest scan. Mm -hmm. It comes really close together. Well, now we're talking about only a mile apart, and we have higher inbounds and higher outbounds, okay? So the trend is up with the storm. This, and, and give it one more scan, we'll see what happens here. But when you look, I'm looking at some of the normalized rotation. This is the highest normalized rotation I've seen all day long, and it values- uh, First alert max, control room. Yeah. We can do that. Here you go. Uh, yep, that's and that's a split panel that everyone's showing. Left hand side is reflectivity on the right hand side. That's how we make rotation easy for everyone to see. And there's red there, Damon. Look at that. And it's just to the southwest of Ninica. And when you have and when you have reds, that it shows intense gate to gate shear. Yeah, and red. Yeah, yeah, and red is never good color on any map. Want to send it out to uh, Michael Armstrong. Michael, what do you have? Losing IFB. Don't come to me. Don't come to me. Okay, we'll, we'll go. Let's go out to Chris Sander. Chris Sander, I know we have you live right now. Uh, Chris, what are you seeing from where you are? Hey, Damon. Uh, we are just near Hewlin, and what I've been talking about, you know, all day, one of these storms is finally going to get its act together. This storm right now is definitely doing that. Uh, we've had storms uh, firing up and flowing into the storm all day, but now that looks like that ceased, and we've got a base rapidly organizing with rapid rising motion. Uh, this thing's probably well on its way to being a little bit more of a meaner storm than what we've been seeing on the south end of all these. And that, and that certainly happens with these line of storms where even the southern end, the most southern storm, tends to get ramped into this as well. And so, Chris Sander, you're in a great location. We're going to keep watching your stream because for those of us that are living uh, east of Lawton, Duncan, Chris Sander, he is from uh, he is from Stevens County. He is from Velma, and he's going to be watching this storm very closely for you as this storm continues to move to the east. So right now, this is still severe thunderstorm warning, but our biggest threat right now is still going to be what's up to the north. Uh, looks like right now looking just east of, let's see here, got a couple areas of rotation that are kind of speckled along this leading edge here. But as Jonathan just circled, looks like just east of Walters. Let's go back to field meteorologist Michael Armstrong. Michael, radar showing the uh, rotation ramping up in the cell. What do you see? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it, it still continues to be a very, very intense storm. I, it's to our northwest now, but the road network, uh, for anybody who's never been out here, is non-existent. Um, highways don't exist. It's just little county roads. So, uh, you know, we're, we're watching this thing as it moves through. I mean, it. I have no doubt that there's, there's a tornado there. We just can't see it, and neither can anyone else. So I do not go outside and try to look at it. I, I know I keep saying that, but um, I think that that is so ingrained in Oklahomans for, for you know, we just, it's just what people do. They go outside to look at it to see, well, is it really there? Yeah, I think it really is there. It's just we cannot see it. Michael, so, Michael, uh, just, one thing that you know, we get. I know you guys have been hitting that hard. Yeah, Michael, one thing we, we, we've got Go to ahead. tell Nin Ninica, get into your shelter right now. I am very concerned for the community of Ninica right now. This rotation has really picked up. I have not seen the rotation this strong at all this afternoon. This storm is cycling, but this storm, Jonathan, let's get real close in. Let's zoom into Ninica here and show just how far west we are because the community of Ninica, if you're listening right now, you need to be going into your tornado shelter right now or the innermost room of your home. Uh, Jonathan, let's zoom in if we can right in here because here's a community of Ninica. Here is going to be the rotation right here. This is going to be just a few miles west of Route 81, but there is very much a tornado that is going to be in this storm. Ninica, the storm, the tornado is now east of the uh, of the H.E. Bailey Turnpike. Right now it's going to be just east of County Street 2790, just south 
of uh, south and west of 81, south of 277. So here is the community of Ninica. We're about one, two, three miles away from this very well defined uh, tornado on at least looking at the velocity here. That is, uh, I tell you what, if you're in Ninica, I, I cannot hit the message hard enough. You need to go into your shelter or into the innermost room of your house right now. This storm is just west, is just west of you. Sky 5 right now is just south of Ninica and looking into the storm. And as we've been telling you, uh, let's put Sky 5 up in here. Sky 5 is showing us a, a, an issue that is a big time challenge today. That is going to be the visibility, so we have to look for power flashes. But this part of this, this part of the county is very rural. Jonathan, what do you have? There's a tornado in there, Damon. Yeah, there is. Uh, these are the highest velocities. What's that? Look at look at considerable. There you go. Look at the so the latest messaging coming in right now shows a considerable tornado. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see it. These are the highest velocities.